Hello, it's Lex MPI back with another video and today we're talking BETH and more specifically, how do you trade your BETH for other cryptocurrencies? It's a question I've been getting a lot in the comments to other videos. How do you trade your BETH for other cryptos? And today I'm going to show you how. So here we are on Binance.com. Follow me to wallet and then to earn while that loads. If you could like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. So here we are on the earn page. We go to locked staking and then we go to ETH 2.0 staking. And here we are on the ETH 2.0 homepage for Binance. It has all the information you need. Take your time to go read through that. But today I'm answering a question. How do we trade our BETH for other cryptocurrencies? So I click here on BETH petition. Let that load up. And once that's loaded up, you can see here I have a BETH coin and I have 1.24257388 BETH, but there's no trade. So how do I trade my BETH for other cryptocurrencies? You need to go to bakeryswap.org. What is bakeryswap you're asking? Well, bakeryswap is a cryptocurrency exchange, a decentralized exchange. But rather than being based on the Ethereum blockchain, it's based on the Binance Smart Contract blockchain. So, in essence, it's very, very, very similar to Uniswap. But rather than paying Ethereum gas fees, you'll be paying the equivalent Binance Smart Chain gas fees. And for one, that makes it a lot cheaper. I'll show you through. And hopefully you can start trading your BETH after this video is done. So as you can see in the top right hand corner, as you can see here, is connect to a wallet. I use MetaMask, so what I'll do is I'll click connect to a wallet. It gives me the option of MetaMask. I click that and it initializes. So uh, this is my, my wallet. I press next. I press connect. And it connects my MetaMask wallet to bakery swap we are connected. So what I will do is I will click on the MetaMask option on my Chrome browser. And as you can see here, it's connected to the Binance smart chain. By default, it will be on the Ethereum mainnet, right? Where most of my cryptocurrencies are you will notice that you haven't got a Binance Smart Chain option. That's because you have to manually create it, which I already did. And you're wondering, how do I manually create the Binance Smart Chain option in my list of networks? Well, I will show you how. Press Custom RPC. That's what you need. And this is where you're able to add new chains to your MetaMask wallet. So what do you actually type into there? So you go to, essentially, I'll, I will link this website in the description. And this will give you the whole, all the backstory and how, you know, how, how it all works. But what you need is this bit here. These bits here, okay? And all this information is what you need to add in to custom RPC okay so I'll link this website down in the description follow the instructions and add this information into the new RPC which is let me show you one more time this is your MetaMask plugin to Chrome you go here you go to custom RPC you add it in and what will happen is you will see let me move it you will have a drop down and then you will have the option of doing Binance Smart Chain. I click that and there we are, our zero BNB. And there it is, empty. That's the first thing you need to do. Don't make the mistake of not adding that by Binance Smart Chain and using your Ethereum mainnet. That could cause all sorts of problems. So make sure you've changed it, okay? Excellent. Then you go to exchange. 
And here, once again, very similar to Uniswap. We're able to pick the cryptocurrencies and then you can then swap them for other cryptocurrencies, right? So the third thing I need to do, I need to get my BETH into my wallet. So if we go back to Binance, we go to BETH, we go to withdraw, and we have here my BETH balance my BETH address and my BETH address will simply be this here that 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 here that which I've just copied I'll go back to here and I'll press ah make one top tip first I let me paste in my wallet address feel free to send me some cryptocurrency if you're feeling generous there it is <laughs> um, but you need to make sure the transfer network is the Binance Smart Chain BSC okay and then what I would do is I would, you know, pretend I would then pick an amount of BETH I wanted to transfer. So zero, let's do 0 0.1 BETH, yeah. And what you would see is that there's a small transaction fee, which is tiny, 0 0.000062 BETH, and I would submit that. So let me do that now, yeah. So I'll fill all this in. And I'll skip to when it's arrived in my Binance Smart Chain wallet. So here we are back on Bakery Swap. So if I go to my MetaMask wallet, you'll see it is still blank. I just have my BNB coin. However, when I go to swap and I click BETH, as you can see, I have a balance of that 0.099939 that I just transferred over and it's arrived here and my and bakery shop is connected to my metamask wallet i can see that balance now to add that token on what you need to do you need to go to binance um bscscan.com and type in beeth binance beacon eth and get the contract address we copy that we go back to metamask we go to add token, custom token, we paste that, there you go, it pulls it in for us, BETH, I go to next and there we go. So I've added the token and now in the wallet I can see BETH there, so I hit add it in. And now I have my BETH, if I wanted to convert some of this BETH that I have, so I have 0 0.099. I could select, um, how about Ethereum? Seems sensible. And as you can see there, I can convert my BETH into Ethereum. You will notice I don't get exactly one to one. That is because on the open market, on the free market, BETH isn't as valuable as Ethereum, which makes sense because BETH isn't the real thing, isn't the real thing. So therefore you wouldn't expect it to be worth exactly the same with Ethereum. Do note though, when the lockup lock up period is over for Binance BETH 2.0 staking, you will be able to convert your BETH precisely and exactly one to one for Ethereum. However, currently on the open market, the market has decided due to supply and demand that BETH is worth a bit less than ETH. And actually we can see the exchange rate You need 1.07 BETH for one ETH. So actually the BETH is worth about 7% less than Ethereum. So yeah, I could approve that. And then it would say, uh, it load up, and then I would agree to pay essentially a you know, four cent fee to that to go through, which I'm not going to do right now because I don't want to convert my BETH into ETH. But there you go, and actually you can convert it to many other cryptocurrencies you can convert it to uh, the wrapped btc coin you could convert it into uh, bitcoin usd polkadot ethereum link usdt and there you go that is how you convert your cryptocurrencies beth into multiple other tokens that you may want to convert it into 
hope that's been useful. Many thanks. Have a nice day. Oh, like and subscribe. Next MPI. Peace.